Hi, my name's Paul Ashmore, and I am a mixer and master engineer here at Audio Animals. Um, so this is my studio. I run an Avid S4 with a uh, PMC CI series Dolby Atmos system. I run a 9.1.4 in this room. Uh, it's one of the best Dolby Atmos studios in the UK, and uh, it sounds unbelievable. Um, it's really something to experience uh, hearing your music in, in this sort of room. I started Audio Animals back in 2012, October the 9th, 2012, and I was 24 at the time. And the reason I did was because I'd previously worked with other studios and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't progressing in the way that I wanted to, mainly because the, the bosses of the businesses that I was working with, they weren't forward thinking enough in the sense that they wanted to take their business online. They didn't want to take the business online. I wanted I wanted a business. I want, wanted the business to go online because it needed to. I was watching less and less people walk through the door. This resulted in me just kind of going, right, I want to go take a business online. So that's why we started Audio Animals. We started from the ground up. We started um, with in, in actually this same room, but um, it was a different room at the time. So we built this studio within the room, room we was in. Um, and the... We started from the ground up, so we started with a very limited console. We gradually built our our equipment list up uh, into what you see now, and I mean what you see now is is unbelievable. It's um, you know I, I I sat there say ten years ago, going I dream of having this setup. This is the dream setup. I want this setup. And then finally, you know, 10 years later, it's a reality. And I'm working in one of the best studios money can buy. It's unbelievable how good this sounds. So I'm a big family man. You know, I've got a um, wife, two kids, boy and a girl, a dog. Love to bring the dog up to the studio, a uh, little studio buddy. And uh, she just sits in the corner, little multi-poo. Um, and yeah, I've got, I've got a lovely, lovely home life. Uh, so I do enjoy getting home. Doing all that stuff with family, uh, big family man. But you know, music, music's my passion. I love being here, as well as being at home. This is my, this is what you would would consider as a man cave. This is where I go to. This is where I have fun. This is where I, you know, get creative. I do all my business stuff here. You know, I I I, I live and breathe this this business. That's why I'm. Got my audio animals tattoo. It's all about the brand. It's all about the company, and um, yeah, we're really trying to make something of uh, of this. We're, we're the, our, my my kind of philosophy with with audio animals and the way I wanted to create audio animals was to basically create this company that caters for people who aren't top ten, who aren't in the in the charts who aren't massive who haven't got huge budgets i wanted to create services that you know mastering services that are affordable so that everybody can have this high-end production um and sound great and sound their best at, at a reasonable price um and you know i, I do that by you know i i i have a mastering chain that's a hundred thousand pounds, but that doesn't mean I'm charging you two hundred pounds to put a track through it. I'm still. I want to make sure everything is always affordable, so that everyone can afford this. And I don't just just kind of. I never want to push out the kind of little guy who hasn't got a huge budget, who's doing things independent. I don't want to push them away because you know they're the people that right now they might not have a big budget. But five years down the line, after we've mastered 10 of their songs, for instance, you know, they, they could be huge. And they're the people that are making changes in the industry. They're the people that are really doing big things. Um, and I love working with the kind of people who, who work on smaller budgets. And I'm a firm believer that if we outpriced all those people and we stopped working with them, I, I don't I wouldn't be as I I don't think I'd be as happy because they're the people that make the unique the more unique music that's more experimental and isn't to a formula that that has to sell 
big units, basically. Um, so I'm a firm believer on that. And I love working with these sorts of people. Uh, in my spare time, I like to, you know what I like to do in my spare time? I like to work because <laughs> I come here and I do 10 hours worth of mixing, for instance. But when I get home after the, you know, kids have gone to bed, I've got that time to myself. I will spend that time working on administration. I will do edit these videos. I will do all this sort of stuff, create sample packs, create content to put on, on their website, create, just generally create content for the internet. Um, and that's as much of an important part of running a business as is the actual physical service that you provide. Um, so, you know, and, and for me personally, it's not work. I enjoy, I love what I do. I don't just enjoy it. I love it. I, I, I want to do it. It's not a chore. It's not work for me. So to just do anything in audio for, for me personally, to do anything working in this industry is, is a blessing to be paid to, I mean, it's every, it's everyone's dream. I mean, I know it's mine. Um, it's, it's everyone's dream to <clears throat> imagine sitting in this room for for x amount of time just mixing songs song after song after song mixing songs i mean that is come on any 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 engineer out there will tell you that this is the life